Okay, what's up guys? So I'm playing, um, so I'm pretty sure if y'all remember when I played the Late Shift, this is one of, I guess, like the many, like, movie slash games that they have out of the whole series, or that the developers had created, but this is a new one called The Complex. I think this is like their latest, like, movie slash video game, so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play it. I thought, yeah, I thought the, uh, Late Shift, I thought that was pretty cool. I actually, uh, re-downloaded that. So I'm probably going to, uh, cause I think they said, from what I've seen, there's like seven different outcomes. So yeah, I'm like, I got to see them. I, I have to. But I, I think that's just a cool concept, how they have it where you choose what happens. So it's like you watching a movie and also, um, playing a game. Oh, oh. Hold on. What's happening? They already starting off crazy. Hey, so I've done a full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So, another drone? Yeah. They dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. Is that Mila Kunis? It looks like her. What, you mean uh, a football? No, that ain't her. That ain't her. It looked like her. It looked like a, like Hi. if Mila Kunis and You're Kendall right? Jenner like got in that thing in the fly. Pleasure to meet. And then they just morphed into one. That's who she looks like. Are you going to hurt me? Let's be lighthearted. I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. I forgot my laptop, the volume on that. Got to turn that down. Uh-oh. I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Dang. Supply tent now. It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Uh-oh. You're all right. You're all right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Court ordered this attack. Obviously, you can hear gunshots in the background. Both of us are stand against him. Tell me. Well, this chemical ruined my life. Oh no, you're fine. Tosa. Just be positive about it. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Well, like, lady, I'm trying to be positive about the whole situation. I'm like, you want the realistic answer? You go, you about to die. Breathe, look at me. So. I need, I need to save my baby. Ah, uh, dang, she's pregnant. What was that? Oh, I'm like, hey, chill out, Mila Kunis lookalike. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. Dang, what do you do? Ah, uh, I remember seeing this in the trailer. You have to save one or the other, dang. Make a decision. She, cause Dima is pregnant, uh, we gotta save the pregnant woman. I'm thinking about the child here. Talo, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, but you threw a pregnant woman. Dima, please, you have to trust me. Okay, this will save you and your baby. You are with the Supreme Leader. You want to kill my baby? No. Are you? Wow. Oh my goodness. Reese, how do I save them? Reese. Wow. Oh, uh, Dima, I, I probably, I probably would have slapped her. Just in the heat of the moment, 
because of the explosions and then having me choose between the two like yeah i i, I probably would have like you know knocked her out just so she wouldn't have had to like feel the, the death of history because that's that's frustrating i'm dr amy tennant and i'm here on behalf of the visionary natalie kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible Firstly, we've been using your Keep brilliance for the greater good. I know how to play this game. I mean, I played la late shift. Since the so resolution of its civil I'll war. need no tutorial. Our teams have been working on development projects with. Like, do I have to? I don't care about that. Scientists. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I know how this game works. An internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. I like how they have subtitles. I even had to ask, like. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? I'm dismissing that. Because he drunk, Kinder so. Peace. Moving on. The Kensington Corporation is dedicated to bringing hope. That's how you really annoy a person. It's bad PR for us to associate. Wow, he just cuts her off. The dictator. We're all here to discuss the amazing. Answer my fucking question. Dismiss him again. Natalie sent a nurse to tell us anything, anyhow. Actually, I'm a doctor. There you go. Talk your you stuff. I am, right? It was like, don't really care. May I ask you to leave the boardroom, please, sir? Fuck it. I'm pulling my funding. He's like, yeah, you drunk. That's what it is. It's always a bit of a risk serving free champagne. <laughs> hey, ain't she cracking her jokes? Talk your stuff, girl. Is that is? Oh, I thought that was a girl. I was like, what's wrong with her? Cause she acting weird. I'm like, all right, lady, don't get up here and start acting weird. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? She's sweating and shaking. Don't do drugs, Kay. Huh. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars. It's like, how do you, why, I'm sorry to pause, but why would you even ask a question like that? Like, she's shaking, she's sweating, like, I feel like that that's a clear observation that something is not wrong with her. So a question, are you okay? Like, that's... How do we get around this? Like, more like, what's going on with you? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate huh. extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <gasps> My phone will go off and I gotta turn that what's off. What's your problem? I'm like, what's your problem? And then she's gonna start recording her. This is, of course... That's... Everybody does that. Oh, when somebody gets out in public and starts acting weird, recording is the best thing to do. Complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. Whoa. I'm like, okay, so... I'll see y'all later. Jumped out that window and I'm gone. I don't care if they on the moving train or not. Look, she's still recording. Amy, you're needed urgently. Hang on. 
I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, it really can't wait. Uh... I have to get you to the car now. Okay, all right. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. Yeah, because like... You on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. She, you mean to tell me, pause, you mean to tell me you could get 200 and something thousand views for a person vomiting on a train and blood come, well, actually, you know what, no, because then I started remembering, like, blood was coming out of her eyes. Poisoning? She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond. People, our needs. people, I'm. YouTube would allow that too. Like. Oh. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. I'm about to say, what kind of body bag is that? They need all of that. Grand ambulance. The drain will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Dang, drone or ambulance? I don't trust drones. Ambulance is like... Ground. I want eyes on her. Yeah, because that drone, like what they said, that thing crashes. Trust me, I've dealt with this type of madness before. If I ever play this again, then I'll see what the drone does, but yeah. The more realistic thing, because drones, you don't trust no drone to carry no body and stuff, so. <clears throat> I bet those people left. If that's where she's heading back to, I bet those people left. Okay. Bodies of our renegades. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathize with that. Today we need all your field experience in. <clears throat> Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr. Whitfield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Whitefield? That guy. Hug. You know who he looks like? He looks like that guy that almost got Glenn killed in The Walking Dead. He shot himself on top. Well, I, I might have spelled it different. But that, that happened so long ago. So much has happened, but yeah. He looks like that dude that did that. So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahex is one of us. He's like, you don't trust people that look like bad guys you've seen in previous movies. Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we considered the hysteria, it might actually be valid. What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> look. Why are you <clears throat> skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, so something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologizing for the skydiving. Guy's gotta live. So you abandoned two dying people in a tent in the middle of a war zone. You shouldn't even be here, bro. And if you like, back and let me know get up out of here. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. He's like, nah. Hey, uh, you don't trust people guys, like that. Just, uh, five minutes. Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Nah, let's, yeah, let's follow, dude. Can we go, please? Nah. Nat, I'm gonna use the toilet as well. 
There are toilets down there. Amy! <sighs> nah, because I gotta see what this guy is up to. It's like he just like, nah, I don't trust a dude. You gotta you gotta check up on people like that. What's he up to? What's he doing? Like what y'all looking at? New toilets. New policy. Wow. Wow. I like that. That's funny. That's funny. What is he doing? Are you serious? Wow. Who sits on toilets like that? Like, at least I hope he put a toilet seat or a uh, cover thing down. I wouldn't say, even with my clothes still on, I wouldn't just sit on no toilet seat like that. He could have just said, can he have a minute and just sat down like on a bench somewhere. He had to go to the bathroom. You should see the other guy. Security lab alpha. That's the thing, though. Whatever was wrong with that girl, like, what if that got out to a bunch of other people on that train? You know, like... Is this my tech? Yes. But... How? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It was a master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. So wait. So that like Gatorade like stuff that she had. That's what that girl took and that's what had her acting like that on the train? Woo! Look, bruh. You guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits. You'll see. All right. They got a change in the same locker room? She can't go to it. Yeah, change in the cubicle. Oh, that's that's kind of weird. Does this feel personal? Claire? Of course. Well, she was in excruciating pain and she stumbled all the way to the tube station. Feels more emotional than just following orders. I feel like that shouldn't even have been an option where it was like changing in front of the guy or changing the thing. Like, any girl that's like, yeah, got some past history with this guy, of course they're gonna change in the cubicle. Space. In a way, I'll go and do something like that. I'm like, we gotta do all that just to check on the person? Nah, I'm good. Look at that. This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical... barriers. How long have you worked here again? I guess so. You made it this far. Four years last Wednesday. Yeah. It's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help so us jump. today? Jumping out of a plane, that's going to help. That, yeah. Bro, them doors closed suddenly. <clears throat> it's crazy how it's just dead silence in there. So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Touche. Vacuum conditions inactive. So hopefully they don't ask me no questions as I'm taking me a quick water break.
Wait a second. They have you changed? Dr. Thomas oh. Martin, Dr. Everly I was Martin. about to say. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? So what's your story then, Malkin? I wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Yeah. Holy shit. It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. I don't trust this. This stuff gonna be airborne. Watch. That don't even look right. I could tell that don't look right. I ain't no doctor. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. Uh-oh. No, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, it feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? It'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Nina. What's Mina? A terrorist organization. Oh, please stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanocells spreading... aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Huh. Well, now we know there ain't no airborne disease, but I still don't trust it. Named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. Dang. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. OK. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just. I'll get back to you. End call. Ages. Wow. What should we do, Doctor? Dang. Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Oh, I thought they were going to leave me up to Dr. say Rayfield, something. Please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Need to replace this, OK? Don't bite me. Something gonna happen, watch. I don't check. Oh, all right. Something gonna happen. Whoa. <laughs> Shit, sorry. I don't trust it. Don't. Don't go anywhere. Oh, man. I thought something was gonna happen. I'm just cautious about everything right now, like, I... Who delivered this crate? Oh, it was here when we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way. It needs to be moved. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's make sure that guy does something. Like, yeah, what is he doing? Re... Dr. Wakefield? Can you move this crate, please? Fucking assistant. Yeah, I'm working, man. You do us a favor. I still got to deal with this. I'm in the middle of this. Cheers, fella. <laughs> I 
I asked the one guy to do it because I don't want him to run out and freaking. Dr. North. Dr. North. He hurt his arm. Oh, sorry, my shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? Uh -huh. Bro, what's up with man? Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh wow. What is happening? Personal. What is happening? Yo, this is some crazy stuff. Dang. Uh, yeah, let's just don't because, yeah, don't pull the knife out because we all know what happens. I can't have the trust in me. Oh, my God. We're gonna save you, okay? Bro, they, they need some mask. What was that? Lockdown mode active. What? <laughs> you got like a first aid kit? I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? That's facts, though. That's facts. Now I know next time I see a scientist with a ponytail, I'm like, nah, bro. And I'm like, empty your pockets. I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. Oh, so that was dang. That was acid they got on her? Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. Well, now we know he ain't going nowhere because he's got stabbed in the leg. If he escapes with his leg, I see now I don't trust nobody. I don't even trust them either. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. I don't trust nobody. This could be a situation like Saw, where everybody, they in on it. What the fuck? They all in cahoots. Well, stay kept. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of our expensive whiskey. Ah. Uh, Tell a joke, tell a joke. Stink. I ain't gonna slap, dude. What does the sign say on an out of Sorry. brothel? Sorry. Huh? Ah! 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 Beat it, we're close. <sighs> Sorry, laugh about it, laugh about it. Fuck up. There you go. <laughs> Look, she found it funny. Oh, I get the joke. <laughs> I get the joke now. That's funny, I get it. Clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Uh. It, yeah. Because all them doors that close. Let's see if there's something in the intensive lab. No, I mean, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Cause yeah, that all those like closed off rooms that we went in, I, I think we should we should be okay. Plus we're in lockdown, so Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Who is that? Amy. Just a sec, Grace. Thought you'd gone quiet over here. 
Your nano cells don't like my chat either. Well, I did more than in my image. Mm, that makes sense. Bunch of mini controlling bitches inside me. Huh. <laughs> Be compassionate about it. Look, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you. I've dealt with worse odds before. Really? Really. You need to comply, though. Whatever it is that's going on, if you know anything, please tell me. Maybe. I can work with maybe. Hold strong. Dang. It's just like Yemen. Don't remind me. <laughs> I still don't trust him. Plumbing? No. That came from the void. They got any, like, cameras in there where they can see what's going on? They ain't got no... Nah, she ain't gonna go out there and invest it. Oh, okay. They got, like, that window. What the hell is that? It must be coming from beyond the walls. Don't go out there, Dave. Is there any security cameras we can check? Yeah. On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. I'm like, how do you not know how to work your... See, that's what I'm like, nah. How then who taught the assistants? Right, got it. These are the security cameras in the void. Oh. Shit on the IRA. The cavalry? In masks? What's the rumbling though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. What is Shit, happening? I activated the vacuum. No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless our security walls, eh? Yo. This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. Somebody, now I don't trust anybody. At first I trusted her, but I'm like, she could be doing, she could be in on this. She could be doing this to, uh, to kill that guy. Something ain't right. Something is not right. They're her dumb cavalry. Look, they're Kandarian too. I knew you were part of something bigger. When us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. <laughs> the divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. Dang. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed me. <laughs> yeah, how do you know that? Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They've deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get onto this intruder situation. Call the cops, like. But why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated, and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End <laughs> call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. 
leak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask him ourselves. Yoo-hoo! What now, Claire? Can you move the dead people? Hmm. Now that she mentions it. Yeah. He really died from getting his head smashed onto a... Okay. That man got a weak skull. How about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding... Hacking? I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find that lay a bit... Meh. Yeah. Let's <laughs> access her camera. Give it a little listen. This is how scientists get killed, you know. Where did you learn to do this? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. I don't trust him. You ready? Wait. It's a good question. If she's got nothing to hide, what's the issue? We're in this together. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Uh, dang it. Go ahead. Yeah. The intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving us access down there. Whatever they've done has caused electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. Have the security idiots announced an upgrade gone awry? No one can think this clear situation's any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please! Two people are trapped in that lab with our prized asset. They are our priority. Announce the security upgrade. Some ain't right about her. I clear the eyeways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. I'd be probably Natalie, probably the Natalie girl. Claire. Amy. What do you and your friends want? I'm not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? <laughs> Isn't that totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Yeah. <laughs> Kensington. So, she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> no, it's like, give the girl... They like let her suffer. I'm, that's no. I'm not. I'm not a bad person. Thank you. Seriously. How long have you been at the complex? A year. We've always had passing conversations on. See, because you give them drugs, and they start. They start being honest. <clears throat> I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. Oh, I got them all. Uh, Mina. Who's Mina? Claire. She... Did she? About as useful as a chocolate teapot. Now let's answer it. Cryptic bullshit. <clears throat> answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah. I don't trust that um, assistant either. How are they bypassing your security system so easily? Kensington Corporation's dark plummets emits TV links off. to... Rescue plans are being made. 
Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as he pays quote. Excuse me. Now this stuff. Emily, wait. Please. Give us something. Help us. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, another country in the space race, or...? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. I'm going to move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. I don't trust her. I don't trust nobody. Uh, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplani myself. Okay, awesome. You do that. I'm gonna look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? Uh oh. Yeah. I think the air is getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. I don't trust this coughing. Something ain't right. Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover. She gonna climb through the vents? I don't know what those two options were supposed to. I don't know, but it's like do something. I always wished I was taller. You gonna stand on a Roland? Nah, them chairs. I'm always afraid I'll stand on something like that, then that thing spin around, and then next thing I'll go crashing. Look. Exactly. Exactly. You don't ever stand on no chair that can spin around. Careful. Oh. It's quite cute, marching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Dang. Please tell me you got hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. See, ain't that wrong with his shoulder. Sneaky bastard. Wait. Hey, that's the one girl. Is this the lab? Is that your master batch? How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Bruh. You, you injected yourself. Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? I destroyed all the duplicate nanocells, too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employers to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, I was heading to MI6 to... Oh, oh fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? 
Why were you taking them there, Claire? And to go! Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. Yeah, wow. They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, 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 guys, guys, guys. There's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? Call the cops. Like, how come the police hasn't been called? I need 10 more minutes to study these blueprints. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking. Amy. End call. Reese. What? Do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? We've got 10 minutes to think without all that shit. I don't know why they haven't called the cops, like. What's that? Look, I didn't want to hand this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. You need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Emmy. Always. I don't trust it. She gonna do something, watch. Bro, look at her hand. Is that, that's like a, is that a US, supposed to be a USB drive? This is really lame. Yo, she. Could you hold my hand? Nah. Dang. I thought they were gonna give me a choice. God, I'm just really scared. <laughs> Go on. Watch. Two files. Kensington and Picnic. Which one do you want to watch? Uh, let's watch the Kensington one first. Then save Picnic. Picnic, yeah. See, I knew some wasn't right about her. Behind something to the UN. Kensington Ma. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages. And you got human trials to assess your technology, to burn one stone. But three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The Supreme Leader is a man of discretion. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it, or we will. So it was a setup from her. Um, I think my mind's thinking the same thing as yours, so do you really want to watch the other video? Play it. Please. You sure? <laughs> look, look. Okay. You've forgotten the wine but remembered your phone. Typical. <sighs> Nina's mad at me these days. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I forgot the wine, okay? Yeah. Brought onion bhajis, <laughs> egg mayo, <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> Claire. Takes too many selfies in London. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> no, look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look, look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. <laughs> Smile. What in the? That's what happens when they take that stuff?
Dang. Or maybe it's the duplicate. Or maybe it's the duplicates. The Aryan government, Natalie Kensington, experimented with your nano cells on my people, my village, my parents, my sister Mina. Dang. They're all killed for opposing the dictatorship. Natalie was making duplicates of the master badge behind my back. Yeah, that's what I figured out. I, I figured it out. People. And you were taking all the evidence from my six. In that USB and in your veins. Now the Supreme Leader has activated a sleeper cell in the complex to cover his tracks. Yeah, not to mention Natalie's. I knew something wasn't right about her. Why didn't you tell us this before? I didn't trust you. I bet it's Natalie calling. Look. Oh, let's answer it. Let's answer it. A reject call. Hey, we Why? Need to take a minute and think about this, okay? I'm fine. I promise. Hey, look. I know a rush decision when I see one. Are you not going to expose Natalie? After what you've just seen? We need to deal with our current predicament. Plus, I... Wow. Wow. Would you believe this isn't the weirdest place I've taken a ship? Do you need me to stay and help you? Ye no. No, you're fine. You're spared. I'll be sitting outside. Thank you. Okay. Hey, if we get out of here, will you quit like you said? Pass. I never thought I'd have to answer that question. Oh, you do the right thing. You always do. A habit I wish I had. Well, I might have rubbed off on you if you'd stuck around. Why'd you leave, Reese? You were scared. The absurdity. Not knowing whether saving someone was the right thing to do if it condemned them to a life of pain. It's too much for me. Coward isn't the man for you anyway. That wasn't your call to make. We were a team. Hindsight's a bitch, eh? Heard of Mr. Cracking Fortnite in Eritrea. Where can I sign up for this war torn world tour you guys were on? Enough with the wisecracks, Claire. I'm not in the mood. I know how you feel, Amy. You lost people that you love. My feelings are trivial compared to yours. The sense of betrayal, I mean. Come on, give us a break. I meant Natalie. It was a dream come true, getting an internship here. But after this, it might hard it might be hard for me to trust anybody named Natalie. Especially with like I don't know, even the way her name is spelled, it's like an H in there and it's like an unnecessary H. That's why I'm like, I, I ain't trusting I ain't trusting no more no more people named Natalie. It's like watching even watching David Dobrik's vlogs, like she might be trying to poison people in them vlogs. Looking at the tourist tube map. With disused and unfinished stations. Yeah, that's right. They um, half built a station under the complex. Tabitha Greens. We're so far underground, we must be right on. Top. I don't trust Tabithas either. I went to school with this one Tabitha. She was like a year younger yeah. than me, I think. She was weird too. Tabithas and Natalie's with H's right are weird. There. Thank you. Anytime. Then again, Natalie from the uh, vlog squad, she ain't got no H in her name. We tried going up into the vents, but we haven't tried going down. To Tabitha Greens. You need an access point. We might have one. Reese is sitting on it. Huh. 
This is actually pretty I good. Have to know. I need something that will remove the entire toilet quickly. Uh, let's do some chemistry stuff. Let's blow something up. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. Not necessarily. So you do some chemistry related and blow some things up, then you got energy. You just take a sledgehammer to the toilet and you're gonna be all out of breath, tired. The lowest point of the complex, so Tabitha Green's must be right below us. Yeah, okay, Amy, but there's a toilet in the way. Not for long. Potassium. Amy. My favorite ever chemistry lesson was when the teacher put a small piece of potassium in water. I always wanted to see what a full block would do. Dang. <laughs> oh, you are positively insane. <laughs> it's like that happens. Uh, big question. How far below us is Tabitha Greens? Bro, I'm about to buy some. Get me. Get a Fiji water bottle, put some potassium in there. See what happens. Drop something big. I overall could drop something in small. Oh, a body? I don't know about a body. Hey, Reese, can you help me with something? You could have just drop. I should have um, dropped in something small. Should have used his ponytail to be at the bottom by now. Is he alive? <laughs> Bro, I'm positive I've used that screen before for a video. Yeah, because I was like, how do you die from getting your head hit across something? Like, come on, bro. They're going to shoot their way in. Their bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. Yeah, I was like, that's like a nuke-like area. The defense mechanism is the kicker. When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. <coughs> See, something wasn't right about him. She's already hardwired into the system. We are fucking fucked. Answer, Answer call. call. Guys, the intruders are almost in, and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough! She knows. Accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses. We saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. Yours, Amy. That's impossible. I've got my ID card right here. Amy didn't help me. I snuck into her office and I copied her credentials off a computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. But we know about Kinder. Reese. We have proof. Lots. Nonsense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kinder's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cybersecurity sucks. Even Reese hacked in easily. Reese has been hacking the system. He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Whose side are you on, Wakefield? Hey, we force every. I don't know. Oh, fuck this. Everyone, calm down. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. Look, we aren't traitors. Help us. Stall them. Do something. Call the cops. Why hasn't nobody called the cops yet? I've been saying that throughout this whole yeah. movie video game. Regardless of what we think of each other right now, you're one of my closest friends. Parker. So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the void jam electronics? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? Two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They've locked us out. Reese could. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. 
OK, talk me through it as fast as you can. Help me! me. Yeah, you gotta go to Claire. What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. My heart. Dang. Are you going to wear a mask? No. I trust you. I hope Claire pulls through. I don't know if she is or not, but I hope she does. Claire seemed cool. I can trust Claire. You know, I didn't get no. I can't trust Claire. Everybody's everybody's a suspect still. He's dealing with some stuff. Claire dealing with some stuff. Natalie said, "Freaking a uh, hitman." Came back on. He. There you go. Not so smug now, are ya? We're not out of the woods yet. <sighs> All right, they're still unlocking the door. One down, two to go. go yep bro this is so intense like what is going to happen wow did he just kill Wow. Dang. <sighs> Call Natalie Kensington. You're okay. Answer call. Oh, thank God. We saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. Appreciate the guidance, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? Call the cops. How many times do I have to say it? That will kill lockdown they gotta be doing some illegal stuff if they can't call the cops. And then escape before everything initializes. Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. No, that's a shit plan. He's Finally. Outside the door. A fucking security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. Okay, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're... When you get Claire's blood. What the fuck? Natalie. Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's going to die anyway. She'd be sacrificing herself to save millions. Nah, Thank we... Amy. If they... We can't if they give us the option, if they give us the option, the I'm saving Claire. We're not the only country trying for nano cells. I already know my option. Yep. All right. Kensington. All right, not my option. Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? Uh, no deal. Not without hesitation. I'm saving clear. We're like, in the corner here, Amy. There has to be another way that doesn't involve killing Claire. There isn't. We're trapped. Yeah, by Natalie. The lab's in lockdown mode because she ordered it. There's no other chemical threat outside of Claire's bioprotector. Yeah, there is. Actually. Yo. Oh, 
How? I should have brushed up on my needle handling. <laughs> Dang. Oh, man, that crossed my mind. That crossed my mind. I knew that had, had to happen. This is the Mexican standoff we're going to lose. Dang. And eventually the oxygen will run out. So Parker's crazy plan of opening that door is our only hope. You've changed your tune. Maybe Natalie will rescue us. Yeah, you want to bet? All the evidence of her actions in Kindar is down here. The nanocells are our only leverage. Take her blood, however much you need. I'm not doing it. Nope. Give me another option. Dang. I said no. Man, why did I have this? Please give me your arm. Dang. I thought you were different. Claire. Your arm. Tell me honestly. Can you save me? May just be honest. There's almost no chance of it. Your internal physiology is completely changed and I can't predict what's gonna happen. You're weak. Look. I don't even know if I'm going to survive this. But if I do, I promise you that... Stop. I've got enough. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't stick it in. <laughs> That's what she said. Reese. <laughs> Just close the bioprotector. Claire can live to fight another day. It's about time I contributed an escape plan. What? While Parker was talking me through the vacuum reset, I realised that a full lab reset wouldn't be much different. We don't need those pricks upstairs. But if you reset the lab, they'll be alerted. That's where things get creative. I hacked into the lab security camera and recorded the last three minutes of you preparing to extract Claire's blood. I can output that three minutes of footage onto their security feed. While you escape, they'll think you're following orders. How did you come up with this? Sorry to move <laughs> I've seen it in a few movies myself. What about our last remaining obstacle outside? And why are you speaking in the second person? I'm going to take him out. I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, that heat flash will trigger. Maurice, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he and you... You have a chance. I've been the weak link. It's time to become an asset. There has to be another way. Run. Save her. This is madness. There has to be a way for all of us to survive. Ever the optimist. Bet that's what you always loved about her. <laughs> Dang. Mm -hmm. Maybe he ain't a bad guy after all. No, 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 look, I chose this, okay? And that's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. I fucking hate you. You know, I went back to that beach in Kindar to face it. Tavo and Dima. And I think maybe if I hadn't lost my shit, then we could have saved one of them. Yeah. Maybe. I'm sorry for leaving you. Dang. I'll never 
forgive myself for what's happened to you. <coughs> That's a wise move. That wouldn't touch me either. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Wait! What was happening? What is it, Claire? Switch places with me, Reese. At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. Come on. You have all the evidence against Kensington. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection, and you two can escape. Uh man. Come on. Oh, I'm so sorry, Reese. Reese, I am so sorry. No, Claire. You're under our care. It's our duty to do everything we can to save your life. Please listen to me. Reset the lab, Dr. Wakefield. Dang, Reese, I'm so sorry. To whoever that actor is, I'm gonna find out who he is and I'm just gonna be like, look, bro, I um I chose Claire. Did you I would like to okay. I would like to apologize. No. I'm serious. But um I will play the game again and I will choose uh Reese next time. Like Reese, I am sorry, man. Chemical threat detected. Heat flash initiated. Dang. Wow. Security lab alpha system reset complete. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. Dang. All looks good to me. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. I wouldn't have. What was that? Nothing. Three minutes. Dang. That's crazy. You guys see a burnt up version of it, yeah. of the guy. Three. I'm like, Claire, you, man. I'm going to change back into my clothes, too. This lab suit will draw too much I better get a personal thank you from somebody for choosing Claire. Because then it's like the guy redeemed himself. He started being helpful. Then I started feeling all You're bad. So, like, man. Just stay here. She better survive. She better survive, because if she doesn't, I this. Have you ever fired a gun before? Amy? More times than I wish. War's own life. Ever shot someone? No. No, it was mainly panic fire, but I know how to pull a trigger. Get enough? Not really. Whatever happens, don't let Kensington take me again, please. I won't let that happen. I promise. <coughs> uh oh. Emily wasn't bluffing about this. Why in my head, I thought to myself, like, 
the doctor girl, she should just hide behind Claire. Like, knowing me, I would have just ducked down and been hiding behind her. Like, that's how scary of a person I am. Natalie's office is up there. She has to pay for what she's done. No, that's for MI6 to do. Yeah, because escaping really worked at well for you last time. <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? Security footage. Trickery by Wakefield. He's good. Yeah, he was. Natalie, step away from the panic button under your desk. Amy, I can sense you want to negotiate. Claire, are you okay? Fuck off. Ha! <sighs> what do you want? Is it, is it for someone to be say? accountable for all this. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Amy, what are you doing? Amy. Dr. Malkin and the three interns were sleepers, activated by the Kandarian government. Claire's actions threatened to expose the human testing their leader allowed Natalie to do on villages that opposed him. You are making very outlandish claims, Amy. What makes you think that anyone in this room had anything to do with this? Only the people here have the power to facilitate that level of infiltration. You're right. Emily hired Malkin and selected the interns. What? How can you question my loyalty? I went to Kindar to cover your tracks. Admit it. Admit it. Claire, I did a deal with Kindar. I'm ashamed. But it was all in the name of this miracle tech. Can't you see that? She's behind all of this. Kill her. Why are you discounting Claire? Maybe she paid us all in the name of her supreme leader. More likely the supreme leader has bought you, Parker. Amy, you're not a murderer. Don't and you dead behind the mountain. How can you try and kill the mother? You're the one that's behind the mountain. This ends here. Uh, Natalie. I'm sorry, Natalie, you deserve this. Dang. Oh, no. Whoa. Wow. She killed them all. How much money was Kendar paying you? Doesn't matter anymore. Who are you working for? <laughs> I cut a deal with the Secret Service once I found out about Natalie's actions. You knew already. Anything Wait a minute, what? In the lab I know about. Of course, I found out that Natalie had made duplicates of the master batch, so I informed MI6, and they were going to arrest her once I delivered the nanocells in the interests of public safety. And then you happened. No organization would use technology this powerful solely for good. It's not how the world works. After what I've seen today, I think you're right. Are you serious? God, no, keep her alive. I promise the world will know about you and your family. Whoa, why? For what reason, though? I don't even understand. Like, you didn't even have to do that. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot. I'm with MI6. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab my identification. See? I have evidence Natalie Kensington committed human rights violations in Kindar. Okay, arrest me, do whatever, just... Just make sure the authorities see this.
There's some crazy behavior in this. There's some very, very crazy behavior. I wonder what happened if, like, if they chose that option where you can kill Claire. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't did all that. Claire is staying alive. Like, I ain't sacrificed that other guy's life just for her to get killed. Like, no, Claire is surviving. That was pretty cool, though. That's how it ends. Skip credits. Cause I ain't really a credit individual. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty crazy. Oh, so this lets you know honesty, bravery, curiosity, intelligence, sensitivity, personality, perceptive. One out of nine ending founds, 84 out of 196 science scenes discovered, 84 decisions made, relationship status. Well, yeah, because they all, like, they all died. I mean, is there a way of them living? Huh. That's crazy. That is crazy, though. Yeah, I definitely had to play that game and then, like, choose things differently and stuff. But anyways, this has been the complex video game slash movie. It's pretty cool. I recommend y'all go check it out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace.